Discover the Power of One Video, a free AI tool that lets you generate videos and animations from just text or even a single image. Whether you're animating a 2D photo or turning a simple prompt into cinematic motion, this platform offers text-to-video, image-to-video, and text-to-image, all for free. With advanced AI models like Turbo and Plus 2.1, realistic physics, stunning visuals, and even sound effects, your creativity is the only limit. And yes, you earn free credits just by logging and or liking content. Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. First, we visit the One Video website. On the homepage, you'll find AI generated images and videos created by users, organized into two sections image and video. I click on one of the videos under the video tab. On the new page, the video starts to play. At the top of this page, there's a download icon that allows you to save the video file to your device. Just below that, you'll see the prompt that was used to generate the video. By clicking copy prompt, you can copy it and use it in your own projects. The use button lets you take all the settings and details of this generation and start a new one based on them creating a new version with the same setup but potentially different results. Now I click on the image tab and randomly select one of the images. It opens in a new window in a larger size. On this page too, you have access to the prompt and details that were used to generate the image. Next, we need to create a user account. I click on the login option located at the bottom left corner of the website. You can log in using Google or GitHub accounts. I prefer to click sign in with Google. I choose one of the Gmail accounts that's already signed in. This way, a user account is created for us, and we're logged into the site. By clicking me at the bottom left corner of the website, you can access your user profile and the logout option. Slightly above that, I click on the credit button. As you can see in the drop-down menu, our current credit balance is zero. You receive 50 credits daily simply by logging in. To get them, I click on check-in. As you can see, 50 credits have now been added to my account for today. These credits can be used to generate both images and videos. To generate the first video, I click on AI videos from the left-hand menu. This panel supports both text-to-video and image-to-video features. In this tutorial, we'll be using both methods to create videos. In the AI videos panel, the text-to-video feature is enabled by default. I click on the text-to-video tab. In the drop-down list, Turbo and Plus version 2.1 are the newer models. Choosing the Plus model enables higher quality, advanced motion, realistic physics, and enhanced visuals. Choosing the Turbo model enables faster generation. Below that, there's the prompt box. A prompt is essentially your idea written in text form. I've prepared a prompt in advance and pasted into the text box. I click on Enhance Prompt. With this option, the AI creates a new, optimized version of your prompt. If you like it, you can click use it to apply the enhanced version. A bit further down, you can choose the aspect ratio, such as horizontal, vertical, or square, depending on your target platform. If you're creating content for Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts, vertical ratios like 916 are a good choice. If you're like me and making long-form YouTube videos, then horizontal ratios like 16 to 9 are naturally the right pick. If inspiration mode is enabled, it enhances creative inspiration, enriches visuals, and improves expressiveness. The results may differ from the original input prompts. If sound effects is enabled, the AI will generate suitable sound effects for the video, or background music if no specific effects are needed. Now I click on generate video, which deducts 10 credits from my account. My request is placed in a queue, and after a short wait, the video is generated and its thumbnail appears. I play the video. My prompt was to generate a yellow Lamborghini on a rainy road, and the AI understood the concept fairly well, the result is not bad. Naturally, by writing more detailed prompts, specifying camera angles and movements, and experimenting through trial and error, we can achieve even better results. On the right side of the video frame, there's a download button to save the video to your device. 
In the top right corner of the frame, there's also a trash icon for deleting the video. To animate an image and turn it into a video or animation, I activate the Image to Video tab in the AI Videos panel. Under the Reference Image section, I click the plus icon. In the new window, I select the image I want to turn into a video or animation and upload it. After a short moment, the thumbnail of the image is displayed. I enter the idea I have for animating the image into the prompt box. Then, I click on Generate Video, which deducts 10 credits from my account. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short while, the video is generated and its thumbnail is displayed. I played the video. In this example, the idea behind the image to video process was to animate a 2D image of Jennifer Lopez, showing her talking and being cheerful. The result is fairly realistic and not bad at all. We can definitely give the AI a passing grade for its work. Naturally, with more practice and better prompt writing, we can achieve even better results. I want to share an interesting tip with you. After generating a few videos, I currently have 20 credits remaining in my account. If I like the videos I generate, I get 5 additional credits added to my account. Let me show you how. I click on the details button on the Jennifer Lopez video. I like the video, and as you can see, 5 credits have just been added to my account. Now I click on the details button on the Lamborghini video. Again, I like the video, and just like before, 5 credits are added to my account. Now I click on the credits button at the bottom right corner of the screen. In the user guide section, you can access extremely valuable information. On this page, there's a large library of sample prompts for both the text to video and image to video processes. It covers everything from basic prompt formulas to advanced techniques, from how to define shots like close up, medium shot, and long shot to camera angles like low angle and first person view. It even explains how to create cinematic camera movements like dolly, pan, tracking, and orbit. Additionally, there are options for defining the visual style of the video, such as cyberpunk, line art animation, anime, and pixel game. I definitely recommend reading this guide. By understanding these features, you'll be able to write much better, more detailed prompts, and in doing so, the AI will have a clearer understanding of your needs and generate far better results. Let's also explore the text-to-image process. From the left-hand menu, I click on AI Images. Then I click on Win 2.1 Plus. Here too, you can choose between different AI models offered by Juan. In the drop-down list, the Turbo and Plus version 2.1 models are the newer ones. Choosing the Plus model enables higher quality. Choosing the Turbo model enables faster generation. A bit further down is the prompt box. I've prepared a prompt in advance and pasted it into the text box. In the style palette section, there are several options, which we'll explore in future tutorials. Naturally, selecting a style will shape the look and feel of your generated images accordingly. In the aspect ratio section, I choose 16 to 9 to generate a horizontal HD image. Then, I click on generate image, which deducts two credits from my account. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, four images are generated and their thumbnails are displayed. Let's take a look at them. When I hover the mouse over the thumbnails, a download option appears. I click on download without watermark, and just like that, the images are saved to my device. Enjoyed the tutorial? Then don't just sit back, smash that like button and share this with friends who love creativity as much as you do. This is just a glimpse of what today's AI tools can do. If you're excited about turning simple prompts into stunning visuals and animations, you're exactly where you need to be. Subscribe now and turn on the bell so you never miss the next mind-blowing tutorial. The future belongs to those who create with AI, so start today. See you in the next one.